Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's customize our user interface, our groups, our tabs and cascade. So let's get started. So first let's understand why it is needed and then we'll see the procedure. So when we create a drawing, we first create lots of drawing views and once this is done, we move to annotate tab to add dimensions, geometric tolerance, nodes, datums and other items. Sometime we move to table to add tables, sometime we move to sketch to add sketches, sometime we move to tools to add relation. So there are lot of cursor movement from one tab to another tab. Sometime while adding annotations, you frequently move to layout and annotate to add different items. So there will be lot of cursor movement from one tab to another tab which consumes lot of time and slower our process. And to avoid this, we can add our most frequently used commands like dimension, geometry tolerance, node, datums directly to layout tab somewhere here. So when you have all your useful command within one tab, then you can avoid lot of cursor movement from this tab to that tab and you can faster your process. And that is why customizing our user interface becomes helpful. So customizing this user interface is nothing but customizing this ribbon. So this was the need of user interface customization. Now let's see the procedure. So in my case, what actually I need is, I want to add this annotation group within my layout tab somewhere here. Now if you see this annotation group, this is a big group. So I need this much space here. And to increase the space, I will reduce this space. And to reduce this, we have different methods here. We can directly right click to this black strip and say hide command levels. So this will hide all the levels related to these commands. Once again, we can just uncheck it to get all the levels back. Similarly, sometime we can just hide levels for a particular group. Just right click to the group and say hide command levels. Just like this and you can increase the space. If you want this level back, you can just uncheck it. So if you do the same thing using this black strip, then you can do for entire group. And if you go by group, you can hide only for a particular group. Another option we have is minimize the ribbon. So when you minimize the ribbon, you increase your workspace. So each time you need to click the tab to access your command. Now let's call the annotation group somewhere here and for that come to this space right click and say customize the ribbon. Now here you have an option called new. If you click here you get three options here new tab, new group and new cascade. So what these three means? So when we say new tab that means we are talking about these tabs. So you can add a new tab somewhere here and you can add different command groups from different tabs to your new tab. So let's add a new tab, go to new and say new tab. Now you got a new tab which is called new tab which is somewhere here. This tab you can move this side just by selecting it and moving it down. So now your new tab has moved this side. You can rename it like uh, common. So now you have a new tab here which is blank. Now in this tab you can add new groups, new cascade or commands. So I'll just remove it. Now my task is to add this annotation group to layout tab somewhere here. And for that first you select the layout tab then go to annotate tab and select the annotation group. Move it this side. So the moment you move this side, it got added here. Now you can see this group somewhere here. It is coming here. Now this group again you can move it wherever you want. And I'll just say OK. So your annotation group got added within the layout tab. Now the same group you have in annotate also and in layout also. So now if you need something to do from annotation, you can do within layout tab and you can frequently add items from layout tab also. Now once again I will right click here, I will go to customize ribbon, 
Now if you go to new, you have new groups and new cascade. So I'll just hide all the labels for all the groups like this. Once again, I'll right click and I'll go to customize the ribbon. Now if you come to new, you have new group and new cascade. So if you see new groups, these all are groups. If you go to table, this is one group, this is one group, this data is one group, balloons are one group. If you come to annotate, these all are groups. So you can add a new group somewhere here and you can add different commands within that group. So to add the group, go to new, say new group. Now one group got added here. Again, you can move it down like this. You can rename it like sketch. Now within this group, you can add a different sketch command. And to add sketch command, first you go to sketch tab. So you will have all sketch related commands here. Now from this, I am adding few commands like circle. I will add line. I will add a parametric sketch and I will say OK. Now you got a new group within your layout tab with these three commands. Now the last option is new cascade. So if you see the cascade, this is your cascade, the group within the group, this is also one cascade. So if you go to table, here this is the cascade. If you go to annotate, you have note as a cascade, symbols, datums. If you go to sketch, you have ellipse cascade, spline. So these are the cascade, a group within a group. So you can add that also. Just go to new cascade and your cascade got added somewhere here. Now you have a drop down list. Now you can rename this cascade like uh, I'll say table. So I have a table cascade here, which is this one. Now I can add different commands within this group. So I'll add some table related command. And for that, first I'll go to table tab. So you have your table command within this casket. Similarly, you can add other commands. And you can say OK. So now you have a cascade with these commands. You can add table directly within the layout tab. Now if you like to have an icon for this cascade, then that is also possible. Just select the cascade and go to modify. Now here you have different options. I'll just go to choose from existing. And these many icons you have. You can select a suitable icon from here or you can create your own icon. So in this case, I will just select this icon. So now you got one icon for your cascade and the same icon is reflecting here. Say OK and your cascade is created. So now if you go to this cascade, you have these commands available here. Now if I want level for this group, I can just unhide it. If I want level for this group, I can unhide it. So now you have all your frequently used commands within one tab and this will avoid lot of cursor movement from this tab to that tab which will save your lot of time and improve your process. And the same setting can be done for part modeling. So here also you can go to this black strip, right click and say hide command levels. You can unhide it and you can go for customize the ribbon. Here also you have all three options. So you can create a new tab, group or cascade. And the best part of this customization is, once you have customized your ribbon, this will be permanently saved. So whenever you close your current session and relaunch your Creo parametric, you get all the customization done automatically. So this was the procedure and the use of customizing your user interface, your tab, your groups and your cascade.
and I hope this video will be helpful. Now hit the like button if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.